morning students so in this uh, video i will explain you the second the third uh, interfacing program so the question here is we have to write a verilog code to design a clock clock divider circuit that generates 1 by 2 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 of the clock uh, from a given input clock it means that there is an input clock okay supplied by the kit and we have to utilize that click and uh, utilize that clock and divide the frequency into half into 1 by 4 and into 1 by 3 so that is the task so here the task here let's understand it better this is the logic circuit which we have to design by writing the program and the input the only input to this logic circuit is your clock which we will get it from the board okay so this clock has to be divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 4 so divided by 2 3 4 it means that we have to divide the frequency of the clock okay clock say for example it has got a, a 4 kilohertz frequency by dividing it to so we will reduce it to 2 kilohertz frequency by dividing it 4 uh, it means that we will be reducing the frequency into 1 kilohertz so like that so that is our task so we have to write a program generate the logic circuit which divides the clock into various other frequencies so how to do this so let's understand here this is the clock frequency it looks like this it's a very high frequency now what i'll do is in order to generate for every two clock pulses i'll make i'll uh, negate the a value from high to low for every two clock pulses i'll start counting okay so i'll use a counter okay i'll use a counter called q so i'll go on counting the clock pulses so 1 2 3 4 6 5 6 7 8 like like that i'll go on counting so what i'll do is now for every q not this is my q not for every q not i will connect this one to clock 2 so it means that for every two clock pulses it will be zero and for every two clock pulses it will be one so like that i reduce the clock frequency clock frequency okay so this is how i generate the clock so for every two clock pulses i'll for every two clock pulses i'll keep the output as zero for next two clock pulses i'll keep it as high and this cycle i'll repeat uh, infinitely so that i'll generate a clock uh, i'll generate a cl uh, clock which is having the frequency half of the the inputted frequency clear so similarly in order to generate the clock for so i'll use q of 1 where it is for every uh, four clock pulses it will be zero and for four clock pulses it will be one so like that follow so i'll utilize q of 1 so you can see that there are two it will be zero for two it will be zero for two another two it will be one so like that i can reduce it by four okay and for third what i have to do is so here i take one more variable so b which i will again count the clock pulses 0 1 2 3 and so on so for every third count for every third count that is i use b of 1 okay b of 1 is this one b of 0 is this one so for every third count you can see that for every third count it is high and the other two count it will be zero okay so 0 0 and it will be I, I have written it is reverse. It can be. It, we can form the waveform like this way also. Not an issue. Okay. So for every two counts, it will be high. For the other count, it will be zero. For the third count, it will be zero. Okay. So for next two count, it will be high, and the third count, will be, it will be zero. So like that, I can generate one third of the clock frequency. Follow. So this is how I do it using the two counters Q and B. So the same. i will uh, we will write the program so we will convert this concept into uh, program so how to do it so here is your uh, module i have named the module as clock divider the input clock is the only input and we have three outputs clock 2 clock 3 and clock 4 that's how i have named it now i require two registers uh, two variables of type register q and b q is of 4 bits whereas b is of 3 bits we come to know why in two bits why it is two bits Okay. So Q, it is again it can count from zero zero to F F F like that. Next, here is the concept. Always at pause edge of the clock, I am counting. So Q equal to Q plus one tick B one. So for every pause edge of the clock pulse, this will be incremented. Okay, one two three and so on. Next, assign clock two is what for Q of zero. This value. 
this is alternatively 1 so that's why the frequency gets reduced to half q of 0 I'm just assigning it for clock 4 I'm assigning this one for every 2 it will be high and for every 2 clock pulse it will be low so this is how I reduce it to clock divided by 4 ok the frequency is reduced by 4 understood so far now for the third I will utilize B I told you that I will utilize B again always at pause edge of the clock here B I am counting ok for every pause edge of the clock again I will count B as I did it for uh, Q so here also I count the only uh, what only thing is I am checking for the when count reaches 3 when the count reaches 3 what I am doing again I am restarting the count so I am counting like this 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 0 so for every third I am making clock 3 as 1 B of 1 is here this is this so this is the count 0 1 2 3 is not counted because if the count reaches 3 it should be 0 if count reaches 3 it should be made as 0 so that's why fourth count is not counted here 1 1 is not there so for every third count so it will become 1 so out of the 3 after the out of the 3 2 will be 0 and 1 will be uh, 1 of the pulse will be high ok 2 pulse will be 0 and 1 pulse will be 1 so that's how I reduce the clock frequency by 1 third is this clear so this is the concept behind uh, reducing the clock to so given clock frequency to 1 by 2 1 by 4 and 1 by 3 clear ok pause Let's see the demonstration of the uh, clock divider program now. So I have uh, opened the project in the name of Sunil, so which I have I used earlier. So I have added the clock divider program also here, and I have created the UCF file also. Let's this is the program, same program what I wrote on the board, okay? And its UCF file is also here. This is the allo allotment which you have to uh, choose while uh, selecting the ports. So 56 is regular your clock ok and these are the output pins ok the LEDs clock 2, clock 3, clock 4 has to be assigned to 120, 119, 118 or any other output ports ok any other output ports so coming back here so let's synthesize implement as I already done IO pin planning post synthesis I have already done it so I will be not showing it so directly I went for implement design so generate program file ok now I have already select I know the port it is 25 and clock divider circuit is selected Okay, configure now so you can see that you can see that uh, here here you can see that there are three LEDs glowing these are my uh, divided by 2 divided by 4 and divided by 3 so this you can see if at all I one the here uh, the probe is connected to one of, one of the probe is connected to the ground and the other has to be connected to here just beside the gate you can see the waveform there on the screen of the CRO ok some 200 hertz is coming so this is divided by 2 and if at all you connect to divided by 4 it is 100 hertz so it is reducing by half that's where you can uh, comprehend next this is divided by 1 by 3 which is very going high frequency because of the reason that so one of it is not actually the exact uh, pulse because one of the pulse is longer than the other one so it, it is not giving the exact frequency that is the reason so I can show you I can show you the other way where you can here only you can make out the on and off of the LEDs just by including one of the variable one of the variable called as clock div so I have included clock div here clock div is of 32 bits and equate it to decimal 0 so 32 tick D0 means 
I have uh, used a clock div as a register data type. A clock div as a variable and it is of data type register and I have initialized it to a decimal zero. So all the 32 bit is zero. Now instead of positive edge of the clock uh, here for positive edge of the clock what I'll do I'll count clock div. Clock div equal to clock div plus. Now always at pause edge of the clock due 24 so I am dividing the clock by 24 so that you can notice the changes in the LED that is the reason here also I will use this one clock due 24 and I, elim I eliminate this pause edge of the clock so now let's uh, save it synthesize implement design generate program file use this uh, window to load the program so com25 is my com port clock divider is reloaded then configure so here you can see that now it is very clearly visible uh, the pulses happening so this is happening every alternate okay whereas one by fourth it is happening for every fourth and this is happening for every third this is very clearly visible on the uh, CRO now So this is 1 by 2, okay, this is 1 by 2, now I will show you 1 by 4, this is 1 by 4, as you can see that the width of the on period and off period are increased now, because the cycle is increased it means that the frequency is reduced, when the time is increased obviously the frequency will be reduced, so this is 1 by 4 next one third so as you can see that there is one on period and two off periods so this is how it is one we reduce the clock frequency into one by third okay pause it start okay students let's see the simulation of uh, the same program we can also simulate and see the output on the screen so here what I have done is for the same program I have removed this clock div okay variable which I declared so I have removed the clock div now without the clock div variable whatever the earlier program was there I have kept the same thing for this I have written the test bench okay very simple test bench the input has to be made as register all the output has to be made as wire instantiation I have given the name instance name as clock which is of the type clock divider clock divider divider clock underscore divider is my module name okay and here initialize the clock to zero always for every five time units clock is negative so this is the only input what I have to change okay and that is the end of the test bench okay this is simple program now let's see how this is this behaves save the uh, file after having included the test module check for any syntax errors now simulate when you simulate so here is the output what you get so this was my clock for every time 5 time units you can see that you can see that the clock is changing for every time units and for every 2 clock pulse there is a change in this is divided by 2 clock 2 is divided by 2 and you can see at the end this is clock divided by 4 ok this is just a double of clock 2 ok it means that it is the width of the clock pulse is the time is doubled whereas when you compare the frequency it will be half of clock 2 ok and one fourth of the actual clock and here you can see that clock 3 here the third here for 
टू इट इज लो एंड फॉर वन क्लॉक पल्स इट इज हाई सिमिलरली फॉर अगेन टू क्लॉक पल्स इट इज लो एंड वन क्लॉक पल्स इट इज हाई दिस इज रिपीटेड टू रेड्यूज द क्लॉक फ्रिक्वेंसी टू वन बाई थ्री सो दिस आर दिस इज वेरी क्लियरली विजिबल ऑन दी इन द सिम्युलेशन आउटपुट कंपेर्ड टू ऑन द किट सो सो दिस इज हाउ आई हैव यूज द क्लॉक फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द क्रिस्टल टू डिवाइड द क्लॉक फ्रिक्वेंसी इंट वन बाय टू वन बाय फोर एंड वन बाय थ्री ओके थैंक यू